Hello, everybody. It's David and Ivelisse here with davidandivelisse.com. Um, hopefully, you are doing well. And um, we want to talk about his last words. Who is he? Well, as you may know, David Cassidy passed away uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, or a couple months ago now, and um, and uh, I remember watching uh, the Partridge Family <laughs> back in the day when I was a youngster, and uh, they said that that David Cassidy was second in terms of global popularity behind the Beatles, which. Uh, if you remember that time, early 70s, uh, that's not hard to believe. I mean, he was uh, kind of a big deal. <laughs> and, um, and, and then to, to you know, read about his last words, which if you don't know what they were, he uh, uh, apparently made the, the statement that uh, I wasted so much time. Mm -hmm. It's hard to imagine for me somebody that uh, had attained – what uh, a lot of people would want uh, wealth and and, uh, and 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 fame, and then only at the end to make a statement like that found it quite mm -hmm. sobering. And so, um, as we march on in years, we 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 tend to get reflective, don't we? And we, um, I, I know, I know, I have <laughs> in particular, um, and I and I ask myself you know, what, what am I doing or what have I done to, um, and not to use, the, I, I don't want to, the word make an impact kind of, I think it's good overused, but, you know, really um, make good use of one's time, whatever that, that is. I mean, when I think about it, I've wasted a lot of time myself. And, um, and I think we all have, if we're honest. Mm -hmm. Even if we didn't intend to in the, you know, starting out or know that we were, you know, you look back and you go, oh, wow, I could have done things differently. So it's kind of that, yeah. Yeah, so you start to feel that urgency. Yeah. And that sense of urgency, like, hey, I got to get going here. I, I, I haven't achieved all I've wanted to achieve. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're feeling that way, uh, we, we completely understand. <laughs> and so one of the things that, uh, we, we looked at, we actually just went and saw the, the movie, the greatest showman. And, um, and it's interesting to go back into history and find out that, uh, PT Barnum himself actually, uh, started, um, that, the circus, <laughs> that, the circus, which we know just actually closed down finally in 2017. Right. But he started uh, that in 1871 at the age of 60. Mm -hmm. And so uh, although he was obviously doing things prior to that, um, to think about somebody, especially at that age, because you think, okay, 1870, 71, the life expectancy of your average uh, American male could not have been more than 65 years of age. I don't know what it is exactly. But for someone to actually start – um, a circus at the age of 60 right. back in the 1800s um, that's admirable and so uh, for, for I, we don't know how long we have on this uh, planet mm -hmm. but uh, if nothing else I we always want to make sure that we're in the mindset of of um, of work we're in mm -hmm. we're in the mindset of of, um, of uh, trying to not only better the lives for us, better our lives, but better lives for others. Yeah. So, um, well, and yeah. something that changed my way of thinking a while back was somebody explaining or kind of putting it out there about retirement, where a lot of people that there's a lot of people out there who have gotten to retirement and then had nothing to do and hated it. Mm -hmm. And so I don't want to get to that point. I don't want to be working for something like to an end of something. And so therefore I, I can't see myself getting to a point where there's nothing. Uh, there's, there's a time where I have nothing to do. Right. And so the work I'm doing now is so that I can continue working even through retirement age and um, maybe retire, like put on new tires to mm -hmm. do something different. Um, 
throughout our lives at different times is, is a better use of the word. <laughs> and, um, and so I, I, that helped me change a lot of how I look at the future and, and things like that. And I know that I'm not even close to that age right now. Well, I'm getting closer um, to that age. But I know that I want to work towards something before that mm -hmm. and know that I'm going to be okay during that time so that I, I don't have to work so hard, but I can still do something. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many things we could talk about right here, but <laughs> yeah, just that idea. I mean, another, I have a friend who's a mm -hmm. high school basketball coach. Um, I, he actually was coaching um, uh, his high school basketball team when I was playing in high school. So he's mm -hmm. been doing it for 40 plus years and mm -hmm. he's 67 now. Um, I was talking to him the other day about retirement. He, he says, yeah, maybe three years, uh, you know, I know who my successor is going to be, but he, he doesn't, he does, you could tell in talking to him, he doesn't have other uh, ideas of other things he wants to do. He's a, he's, he's a happy. high school basketball coach. That's all he wants to do. Mm -hmm. And so as he was talking in, in my own mind, I was thinking, you shouldn't retire mm -hmm. and you probably aren't going to retire till you yeah. drop dead. Yeah. And, and I, I think, I think that's, that's not a bad thing, especially if it's something that you want to do. And this is a gentleman who, when <clears throat> at some point when he either retires or uh, passes away, uh, they will rename uh, <laughs> the high school <laughs> gymnasium after him. He's yeah. that much of a, of a, um, uh, of, of a pillar in in the community so well that and he's not necessarily worrying about that point either mm -hmm. like when he gets to that time where he's not going to have a lot of money and that's the other side of the coin is a lot of people are getting to retirement time and not having anything to bring in an income to take care of themselves after that because a lot of people are going to go a lot further than 65 um, working so I think that's another idea or another point that we need to, you know, definitely talk about and um, help. That's that's kind of where we're at, wanting to help those who mm -hmm. want to um, better their retirement time. Sure, right? sure. With money and um, savings and income during that time so they're not struggling. So if uh, that's something that uh, you've been thinking about, you want to make better use of your time or you're looking for a way to – to be productive mm -hmm. in your later years or even in your middle years, mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and uh, reach out to us. We have a uh, actually a free ebook that we're giving away right now. It's called the Online Entrepreneur's Survival Guide ebook. So if, if that's something you want to take a look at, just uh, um, comment ebook in the comment section below and we will uh, uh, send that over to you. Yeah. Um, real quick, I was just going to say, though, is that um, you did, uh, David here is a certified financial planner and went through all that training to even talk to talk about all of this. And um, therefore, thank God, because now I know a lot about it and understand it. Um, and so thank you <laughs> for yeah. understanding all that and, you know, sharing that and, and being here for that. So if you guys need had any, have any questions as well. Mr. Guy. <laughs> all right. We'll see you next time. All right, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.